Hello, fellow traders. Nutty Bar Trading coming to you. This is Monday, uh, June the 5th. This is day number 28 of trading my funded accounts. Um, if you're new here, um, it started this channel oh, about seven weeks ago to journal my trading journey. Uh, basically, I had a, a goal of getting 20 funded accounts with Apex, trading them, uh, created a channel to kind of hold myself accountable and to journal. Um, and yeah, it's kind of blown up. We are just reached a thousand subscribers yesterday. Thank you. Just again, thank you to everyone that has supported this channel. It really has been amazing. And also just very important to me that I'm fully transparent with you guys, which means I trade live. All my trades are done live, um, on stream every day. And also, I do a summary report at the end of every day, which is what you're watching now, where I'll show my profit and loss and yeah, just show, show everything. And, uh, the day was a, today was a rough day. Oh, it's just been rough the last couple days. Last week we had a red week and today just multiple things where I just, it was a bad day of trading by me. And, uh, it's frustrating <laughs> that where days like this is where it's tempting to not do these summary reports, um, tempting to just close everything down and just run away. But I really do truly feel like I need to do these for myself to hold myself accountable. And if I want to push through this kind of rut that I'm in, I need to hold myself accountable. I want to do what I said that I'm going to do. And that means I'm going to show everything. I'm going to be fully transparent. And I'm going to follow my uh, strategy or my goals. I'm just going to stay stick with it. And yeah, we're just going to go through it together. Um, but yeah, it is it is days like today where it's so frustrating to multiple different reasons. I'm going to go over the trades just really quickly um, and show my profit and loss. And then uh, we need to reset for tomorrow, get in a little bit better mental state. Um, yeah. But yeah, this morning we had a nice move up. This was kind of news related. Basically didn't take any setups during the morning hour. Um, really didn't have any setups that I liked. Um, Basically, once we sold off here, um, and on this sell-off is where I was looking. Basically, this was what I was, okay, if we sell off, then I want to enter on a short. So I was looking for a short setup here. And, you know, we sell and we were pulling back and kind of, you know, and this is where I'll revisit and look at it in hindsight, obviously, looking at where, you know, was this a terrible entry? Obviously, in hindsight, it's very easy to say that. I did enter right here um, on a short. Had my stop above VWAP. Thought, and it, you know, giving it plenty of room to move. Well, you can see the rest. You can see what happened. Um, again, getting stopped out for two ticks by two ticks. And then, of course, it goes right down to my profit target. And at that point, um, should have just probably walked away. That really for us was just frustrating and mentally draining. And I need to be aware of my mental tank. And when that tank is empty, I need to walk away. And today I did not do that. Today I kept trying to push trades. Even without knowing my mental tank was empty, I kept trying to push trades. Um... That is something I've learned in the past not to do, but we did it today again. So that's something with trading is we're constantly learning. I'm constantly learning and constantly trying to get better. But it's frustrating. It's frustrating when you make the same mistakes over and over again. You would think you would learn, right? Um, but here we are. Anyway, on this move, we went up and we surpassed this previous high. Then, again, uh, this was more of a revenge trade. 
I mean, you could make an argument that it was an okay entry for a long, but one of my rules is to trade with the trend and not to try it and pick these reversals. Um, I've just gotten hurt and burnt every time I try it. But yeah, I waited basically till for this breakout. And I thought, okay, we, we're going to make a reversal and maybe test these highs again. And I entered right here, which obviously you can see, stop right below this, boom, stopped out again. And then we continue selling off. And what's even more frustrating is like right here, had I had a more clear vision or like mentally been seeing the market well, like this right here is a perfect setup for me for a short right here. But just getting stopped out mentally, I wasn't even looking for setups at that point. And it's things like that where if you, even here, like right here was a good setup for a short, but it's, you know, mentally just getting stopped out and then looking for another setup and then having that fear. It's just the combination of everything combined is, was just, it's a perfect storm. And that's how I go on tilt. And one of the things I've really been working on that I feel like I have done a pretty good job of is understanding what my triggers are for going on tilt and then avoiding them. And as soon as I see it starting to happen, walking away. Because as I'm sure some of you have experienced, once you are in that mode and you are on tilt, then usually it's too late. Like by that time, usually you will be, your the wrong part of your brain will be making your decisions and it's too late. So really just trying to you know, recognize those triggers and then walking away. And today I didn't do that. Day watching the market throughout all this. And then here, I just, you know, I was looking for it to test these lows again. So I entered another short here. And of course I get stopped out. So it's just a combination of different things where just a terrible day of trading all over, you know, overall for me. And yeah, we ended the day with like $150 loss per account, which adds up to close to $3,000 total. And just a little bit of a summary about where I'm at on my accounts. Obviously, on these accounts, I started with $50,000. Um, right now, we have some accounts um, are at like $49,600. We have one at $49,700. Most of these are at $49,000. Like the average balance is probably around 49,002 to 300. So, you know, we still have, a, you know, 16, 1700 dollars per account of drawdown available. But it's just, you know, I feel like a couple of weeks ago we made a couple of progress, a little bit of progress. But right now, I'm just like, it's just not going well. I'm, my losses are bigger than my wins, which is an issue. And I'm just not reading the market well. My losing days are bigger than my winning days. All things that lead to failure. And I know that. So uh, I'm again a, kind of at that tipping point of what am I just going to continue taking these small little paper cuts per, every day or it's tempting. It's very tempting to change things again. And I want to be careful about doing that. I don't think that's healthy as well. But anyway, this is just me right after ending the stream, kind of mentally throwing up on this summary report. But that's how I'm feeling. Um, we're going to sleep on it. We're not going to make any rash decisions right now. But it is frustrating. All right. This is, my, this is the uh, profit and loss for the day. Lifetime, obviously, yeah, $3,000 loss today total. And you can see what I'm kind of talking about here. Kind of making progress here and then just whoosh. And it's very deflating. De very deflating to see this kind of action. And I understand as well, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a the perfect solution of what I should do. I get it. Um, I appreciate it. I know people are just trying to help. 
But ultimately, I'm going to be the one that makes the decision. I'm going to be the one that has to live with it. I'm going to be the one that is going to either get these accounts funded or I'm going to blow them. That's just reality. Either we're going to get there or we're going to blow them. And obviously, I need to turn things around. I understand that. So regardless, I do appreciate everyone's support. Everyone has been awesome. Um, my account, the YouTube channel has blown up. Tons of support. People using my affiliate codes. That really helps a lot. And I really appreciate it. So anyway, that's kind of my rant for the day. We're going to sleep it off. And we are going to be back tomorrow and try for a new day. And hopefully a better day. Thanks for watching. And thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everyone. Take care. Bye.